Hey everyone, Rarity Dash here, time for another blind commentary. And today we're doing something which should be pretty interesting, the Rainbow Rocks parody series by Wubcake. Sonic Dude 6453, Dead Iris 4 Number 1, Brony Base, LPS School 13, and others that I'm not able to find right now have suggested I take a look at either these videos in particular, Wubcake's channel in general, or, or uh, related videos that she's done uh, in the same vein. Uh, I've had a mind to take a look at these things for a while now, as I love my parody dub type stuff. I know Wubcake is a very talented voice actress from when she's popped up in other videos I've looked at. And I, of course, uh, really love Rainbow Rocks. I held off uh, mostly because I was somewhat unsure how exactly to tackle Wubcake's output. The playlist on her channel for her Equestria Girls related videos is like 30 videos long, some of which are kind of uh, lengthy, and I was unsure if I should do them in the order of the list and uh, what was essential and what wasn't and stuff like that. Looking at it again though, I noticed that it seemed to be split up into a number of different series and uh, well, today we will be looking at uh, just the one which appears to be where she started with the Rainbow Rock stuff. The, these are the seven numbered videos with Rainbow Rock's parody at the front of their title. I'm not sure if I'll miss out on context this way, if uh, other videos will be referenced or anything, but it seems the easiest way to start with it all. If I like these videos though, I may just look at uh, some of her other videos parodying the Equestry Girls uh, stuff and Rainbow Rocks. And uh, yeah. Anyway, seven videos to watch, so I think I'll just go ahead and get started. Okay. Hey Sunset kids, Shimmer. welcome to your new school. Okay, <laughs> and the Dazzlings. Okay. Ever since I caused all that damage last year, we've had the budget of a lifetime. I only had to pay back like $10,000. <laughs> oh yes, we've seen the first movie, and all the cosplays to go with it. That's good. So I found out the female Black Widow eats her mate after she mates with him. <laughs> Oh, this poster. Play a musical instrument and just hope to God you can play it good before you embarrass yourself in front of the whole school. That's it. Her hair reminds me of bacon. <laughs> you know, yeah, I it is kind of bacon-like. Last year, oh, really? I've totally gotten over them. By doing what? Turning into a oh, yeah. bacon monster? Hello. She turned into a she demon. I watched the movie like ten times. Mm hmm. Are you mad? <laughs> I'm actually not mad. Oh. You see, I've watched it over 40 times. I even wrote my own fan fiction. That's oh, great. Oh, yeah. I remember that one. That was not a good fic. If you keep making puns out of our names, oh. I'll take you in the back and break both of your arms. <laughs> you wouldn't! You'll have to excuse them. They're cosplayers. It's free groping. <laughs> Sorry. As you can see, I'm flat-chested, so there's not really much to reach out and grab. <laughs> okay. Ah. <laughs> uh -huh. uh What is you know, Sunset gonna do? Me. <sighs> Insert <laughs> evil out. <laughs> Sunset Shimmer, just sing already. All right, time to show them what bacon hair can really do. But first, bacon hair. Let me tell you something. I've been through a lot in the past six days, five minutes, twenty-seven and a half seconds. And now she's. And if I've learned anything during that time. It's that you are who you are. That's right. Okay, Nip. And no amount of mermaid magic yeah. or managerial promotion or some other third Sunset. thing <laughs> can make me anything more than what I really SpongeBob. am inside. A kid. That's great. Now get back against the wall. But that's okay. All right, what's going on? Because I did what everyone said a kid couldn't. All right, no, we are not taking this path. You're right, let's just use the elements. Oh, fuck. <laughs> wow, for once I didn't ruin anything! Taco night for Sonata! Can't you shut your mouth for one second? We're about to be blasted by rainbows. Will there be tacos? Just shut your mouth. <sighs> I 
It's got to be that song. Opening scene now. It's all out of order. Why we bought these stupid sweatshirts? <laughs> totally uncomfortable, and my hair barely fits. You know, Arya, I'm getting really sick and tired of your complaining <laughs> over and over again and again. You never stop. If you're so tired of my bullshit, why don't you go somewhere else and hang out with some other people? I really would if I had friends. I honestly think it's the weather that's affecting your mood, Adagio. That's the absolute worst. I think you're the worst, Sonata. Oh yeah. Then why did the brilliance pick me over you? <laughs> because they're don't you know? Because they're wrong. Perfect waifu material, and quite frankly, I wish you were a lesbian. <laughs> Could that really be him? Rick Astley. Got the Rick Roll music going. Did you hear that? Do you know what that music is? I do. <laughs> it's 2007. But 2007 called and they want their joke back. <laughs> Don't that, Aria. If we really want to be yeah. the best, we can be. Rick Roll is pretty dated. And that's Rick Aisley. <laughs> now remember Pinkie Pie. Granny Smith. Hey Pinkie Pie, have you seen Frank the Spork? I can't find him anywhere. Oh, I'm sure he hasn't gone too far. Frank the uh, Spork. Uh, my mom's gonna be really pissed if I don't find him. Wow, well, help me. Stop mixing already. Now remember, Pinkie Pie, you have to stroke it nice and easy. Up and down, left and right, back and forth. Yoshi! Let me put this <laughs> on my people! I'm telling you, Pinky, it's been a long time since I've seen Frank. What? <laughs> and then I got mad and ran him over with my SUV. How about you such a masshole, uh... Dashie? Who did you run over, Dash? <laughs> That's sounds like an interesting story. And I said, hey, hey, all what a wonderful kind of day. It's hey, because she might get the horse shit. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> and he didn't even like my alicorn OC. I'm gonna go write some shitty fan fiction about myself. Oh, wow. Oh my god, I'm trying to be edgy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rainbow. I'm sure your Alcorn OC was beautiful. Okay, so what are we doing here again, Adagio? I could have been at home eating Doritos and playing Call of Duty. 
I told you once before, we're here on the orders of Wump Cake and Jenna Bun. <laughs> are quite leaders after all. Oh, come on. I thought we were actually going to eat here for once, Adachio. Some... After we're done, we can get ice cream. Meta stuff Why here. Jenna Bun and Wump Cake matter so much? They're just random YouTubers who make videos. Because they provide our voices after the movie. I'm perfectly capable of voicing myself. Come on, Sonata. Before you know it, Microsoft Sam will be voicing you. My side <laughs> 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 Like a certain other Equestria Please Girls parody series. Like it makes me want to go to the hospital and strangle an unborn child. Oh, oh my god. What in the name of pretzel sticks? Aria, Sonata, the government is here. They're going to catch me. Uh-oh, Adagio's having delusions again. I'll go get her. And that's the story of my whole entire life. Not that I cared, <laughs> but I didn't hear a word you said. <laughs> Stop spaghetti, Fluttershy. Don't tell me you forgot to wear your hearing aid again. I have multiple personality disorder. I'm Sam. I'm Tom. What I'm Jesse. Fuck. If you ask me, Sam's the nicest of the bunch. She actually has a good head on her shoulders. That's good to know. <laughs> Uh-huh. I promise I'll always wear my clothes. I only get naked in my shower. Beautiful. Behind closed doors. But I'll never get naked in yours. So it likes it. As long as I'm a guest in your home. That's a great singing voice, Applejack. I clear this in an anti-awkward zone. <laughs> And there ain't no need for privacy, ain't no private parts you see. This way, I love the silent background vocals. Alone. Huh. I I get naked in your shower. I promise I'll always wear my clothes. I don't think get naked in my shower. Behind closed doors. Never get naked in yours. Well, then. <laughs> that was a very nice song and all, but I, I don't know. It just didn't seem to pleasure me as much as I thought it really would. <laughs> oh, there I go with my fetishes again. <laughs> it's okay, Sunship. Sunset. Whatever. <laughs> sunship Shitter, you've done very naughty things. Come to the office. Oh, God, it looks like I'm in trouble. I won't have to see your faces ever again. I'll see you later, guys. <laughs> wow, what an amazing friend, huh? Stop right there, criminal scum. Oh, Sunset Shimmer, oh my god! I am your biggest fan. I've read all the fan fictions containing you, and I've run a couple of my own. Oh, I'm so happy to finally meet you. <laughs> uh, shut up! You're really creepy and you're scaring me. Have you seen all the porn? <laughs> the faces are totally appropriate. Oh, don't even get me started on my fan fiction. It's all about you saving the world from Elmo. You'll love it. Hey, I'm a stripper at a local bar. <laughs> see me sometime. <laughs> don't forget to use condoms. <laughs> That's right. Uh, You're a teenager. We don't want you to get pregnant. You might accident. Oh, uh, oh, I'm so sorry. I did that on I, I purpose. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, it's okay. You're our biggest fan. I'm sure she didn't mind that you uh, had to push her. Yes, oh. I really have to leave this movie alone. <laughs> when you walk into the hall and you hear something fall, diarrhea. Uh, diarrhea. Uh huh. When you're walking home from school and you make a shitty pool diarrhea. Diarrhea. <laughs> you spin me around, baby. Right round. Right round. You know, chicks really dig the nerd cut. Oh. That's right. Everybody, let's break it down right now. I'm making up a song, and there's people pissed. <laughs> Bikini Mark Crusaders, why are they even called that? If they're not fucking ponies. <laughs> I swore on a kid's movie. What are you gonna do? I bet you have a few tricks up your skirt. <laughs> uh, yes, lift me up to the table so I can walk on it. Oh, I'm da, da, on tonight, da, 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 and I'm on Hexton, and I am starting to feel this right. Let's go, real slow. Can't you see that? Get off the table. <laughs> this isn't your strip club. You give me cactus. <laughs> cactus juice. Cactus, indeed. I. 
Vinyl listens to Nickelback. That's just wrong. Rarity singing. Every time we meet up, you guys always have to start a musical number. <gasps> this is mine. Give it back, weak and powerful. Um, something. Weak and powerful. And I think that's. Hers. Now, now, how about we calm down and settle this over a cup of apples? Bit of a contradiction. I mean. That was the most lame thing I've ever heard, and I don't regret saying that. For once, Trixie agrees. Hand me my dick stick. Beautiful guitar playing. Wow, all this attention is making me really happy. Uh, I kind of like this one. It really brings out my uh, ego. And besides, it makes me awesome. I love you. This means Trixie wins this awesome guitar that nobody else can have. <laughs> yeah, yeah, grow up. Here's some money, no whacking. <laughs> no whacking. <laughs> 12,000 boogers? Are you serious? Trixie could buy an orphanage with this money. If you bought an orphanage, the kids would just drown themselves in the kiddie pool. That's a pleasant thought. If Trixie had Trixie really really well, 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 a really good I honestly don't have anything against Trixie. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh -huh. And yeah. <laughs> I was worried about context and continuity, and of course it turns out it's all pretty much just bold facedly dumb, nonsensical, and plotless <laughs> figures. But if you watch me, you probably know that stupid, kind of immature nonsense is something that I tend to enjoy. And this wasn't an exception. Some bits were funnier than others, but uh, when it worked, it uh, was pretty hilarious. Nothing really outstayed its welcome since the videos were all fairly short individually, and uh, I think I was cracking up pretty good there. <laughs> Of anything I've reacted to, I'd, I'd say it probably reminds me the most of Brony Tales, though without so much purposeful awfulness. I mean, Whoopcake actually tried to uh, match the dubbing pretty well and used actually footage that looked good, and uh, that's to say nothing of the fact that her voice acting is actually really consistent and good. Uh, probably the best part of it all. And of course she's not nearly as crass as Horseshoe Men. Uh, but yeah, it has that same sort of let's just say something completely stupid and irreverent sort of uh, feel to it. Uh, it just seems a lot more spontaneous and unconcerned with telling any kind of story than say a more traditional abridged series uh, sort of deal. It was an enjoyable thing uh, and I'd uh, say I'm fairly interested to look at more of her content. Hope you liked the commentary, let me know if you did, and see you in the next one.